Welcome to this video. Today I would like to show you where you can find um, documentation about the Polarian API. So, let's get started. Um, the first thing you need is a Polarian server that you can access. Uh, you can also access um, the API documentation in the installation directory, but typically you wouldn't uh, have access to it. So let's have a look how you can access it from the web page. So you need to add slash SDK to the URL, and this will bring you to following directory. And this directory has a nice starting, or let's say two starting points. One is uh, the examples directory. Here you can find um, all different types of examples um, about little Polarian on little Polarian extension, like here on top, how you can build own administration pages, or here at the bottom, how you can extend the Polarian work item workflow with own um, functions or conditions. And all of these examples are documented. You can see here there's a little PDF, and the source code is part of the extension. So a nice starting point, I would say, just to play around a bit with uh, what is possible. Maybe you even find an um, extension which uh, behaves in the same way as the one you, are, uh, you have planned to build. Um, then the other entry point is this index, index HTML page. That's actually the... I would say the main starting point um, for for the documentation. Also here, you can find uh, more SDK guides. These are uh, these three documents here. Um, to be true, they are more focused on the extensions uh, on the on the examples. Sorry, themselves. So it's like. Um, um, here, here are the examples. That's what you need to do to set them up. That's how you set up your Eclipse workspace. That's how you make Polarian run within Eclipse. That's how you can you know, debug it. All these things are described in these um, documents. Uh, it's not so much about um, that's how the API is organized and, you know, like getting a general overview on the API. Still, it's helpful. Um, there's also a little section on, on the service classes which are provided by the API, so um, I would say the main entry points into the API are described in this document. Uh, Polarian has a, a service-based uh, uh, architecture, so typically you, you ask a service, like um, a tracker service, to, uh, to get more, uh, to get um, information, and the tracker service then gives you the objects and the classes uh, by the methods it provides. It may also give you another service like, um, I don't know, a tracker service get project service or track, uh, tracker service get project service. Uh, so it works in that way. But uh, you find a lot of this um, uh, directly also in the API. So once you have the entry point, so you have your service classes, uh, then you can drill down using um, the, the Java open, uh, the open Java API documentation. So that's a uh, the next thing we can have a look at, that's a basic standard Java doc with all the classes um, that you can use in the API. So it's, it's quite big, so at the beginning, don't be afraid. Um, I think the best way is really take the examples and see where, you, where it takes you from there. Um, it's also a good place uh, if you want to understand if something is possible in the API and you don't find a method or a class for that inside the Java API, it's probably also not in the other APIs available. So what else do we have? We have the rendering API. The rendering API um, is, again, it's a Java doc, so you can have a look at the methods and the, uh, the documented classes and methods, but this API is, API is mainly for um, visualizing information. So if you want to uh, create a report or some nice, I don't know, dashboard, then that's a nice um, uh, starting point. Um, the good thing about this API is you don't need to um, think about where's the icon for that work item, for example, or what's the correct link to open the item. Um, that's all done by the API in a very nice way, so you can con concatenate all the methods into one line, so it takes you only one line, for example, to visualize, to visualize a work item or a document. Then we have the Web Services API, um, that's basically the API you would like to use if you need to connect from the from other tools, for example, uh, to Polarin. It's not so; it has not so many functions, so it focuses a lot on creating, reading work items, documents. I think 
uh, uh, test cases, test runs, and, and maybe plans, I'm not sure here, but um, you can see it in the documentation. A typical scenario is uh, you, you have a test e external test tool which performs some uh, results, creates some results, and you want to upload them via web services into, into Polarium. Then there is the uh, database documentation. Uh, you know that Polarium has a um, uh, SQL um, index on top of the subversion database. And you can query that, um, that index using SQL, and that database documentation here gives you um, some examples and also an overview on the full-blown uh, uh, database schema, so all the tables, the fields, and, and everything what you need to basically understand how this, um, how this database um, structure or how the table structure looks like. And I think that's what you get, yeah, that, that's what you get when you install Polar and, and you have a look at the uh, provider documentation. So don't forget SDK, add SDK at the end. There's maybe one more thing you might be interested, and that's the Polarian extension site. Um, it's, it's not a place where you find a lot of uh, documentation, but it's a good place if you want to find out how something can be done in code. Because if you find here an extension which does exactly what you want, let's, let's take as an example this navigation panel. So that's a little widget. And you can see, oh, it builds a tree, and uh, okay, maybe that's exactly what I want to do, but maybe not with projects, maybe with documents or with work items, whatever. So I like I like this, and I would like to understand how it's how it is done. Then you just download it from here, and then typically in in I would say ninety percent of the cases, the source code is also included in the in the download, and you can have a look at it. I have to admit, in many cases, it's, um, there's not a lot of documentation. It really depends who, who created um, the extension. But you can find a bit of documentation sometimes here in the description. Very often there's a readme or a similar document added um, uh, into, the, into the downloaded package. So that's all I wanted to show you. And um, yeah, see you next time in the video.